Hello y'all, Salt Intuition Tarot. This is a quick energy check-in. So you have the Knight of Wands in reverse, which means that it's someone that uh, feels like they can't commit to you. They can't commit to a situation. Uh, because their priorities are not in order at this time. They're not able to because they can't get their shit together. Also, we have the Six of Swords. Uh, the problems that they have causes them to want to shy away from you, want to go anywhere you're not. We also have the Page of Wands here. This person um, does things, you know, without thinking. They make small offers to people when they shouldn't have at all. Also, we have the Hangman. They typically leave you hanging in a situation where you never know where you stand. We also have the death in reverse. Although you may have ended it with this person or they have ended it with you. The Queen of Wands. They still want you to pursue them. Regardless of how they treated you. And you're going, they think that you'll stick around, that you'll trace, you'll chase them. Yeah, the strength card, strength not only means that, you know, you're persistent. So they still want you to be persistent when it comes to communication. And they want you to create the stable environment, not them. Because they like to act childish. They like to uh, make foolish decisions. Uh, they block any type of positive action that you try to bring toward them. And it only brings stagnation for everyone. So the chariot card's here and it talks about moving on. That you are faced with a battle. You could be feeling like you're faced with a battle with a, someone in your life. But you're going to get clarity on the situation and their intentions. Although you have been warm and caring toward this person, there have been obstacles in the way that you cannot pursue this. The obstacle is heartbreak and betrayal. And them always trying to get away without any type of commitment. They could be cheating on you. Could be something that you could find out. They're very self-involved. If they're not cheating on you, they're very self-involved. It's all about what they're doing and nothing about what is going on in your life. Now, that's for some of you. Let's see what else for the collective spirit. What else for the collective? So, you may have a juggler in your life. If you were wondering, are they juggling you? Could be somebody... Uh, that delegates time to people, the emperor. Uh, they could want you to have more balance in your life before they can come into partnership with you, with the emperor and the lovers. And if there is any conflict, they expect you... Uh, they will walk away, but they don't expect you to with the Two of Cups revo reversed. Somebody could be jealous of a new love affair between you and that person. They feel like your priorities are not what they should be. This person, you will know who they are that is jealous. They're immature and lazy, and they have lack of ambition. Especially when it comes to the home life. What you count is stable. They don't like that.
someone is being very unpredictable. Unpredictable, rather. Um, wanting to start a new phase, but what's holding them back? What's holding them back is uh, they feel like they've had a bad luck or their dream. Uh, everything they dreamed about is not happening. But you do have the world card, and it looks like success will go your way. We also have the Hierophant here. And this is somebody committing. Somebody's committing to be single. Why they want to be single? Because they feel like that everybody, when they learn the truth about them, has lied to them. Especially people they fall in love with. So it looks like the magician comes up and says, you have all the tools to have the success that you want in life. If you work really hard, you will obtain anything that you want. If you put a lot of hard work and effort into something, uh, the Nine of Cups is a wish card. So make a wish, people. I'm out.